Hi there, it's time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bull. Suicide is a topic that's hard for a lot of people to talk about. A new program at Skyview High School looks to end the stigma, to show kids that they have other options. As I found out this week, the message hits close to home for many Skyview students and staff. My mom left, uh, my dad, and they got divorced, and like my grades went down, and school was harder. I didn't have like as much friends, and just kind of everything just didn't go so well. From there, it got worse for Skyview Junior Blake Taylor. And that put me in a really bad place, and I attempted suicide multiple times. I landed myself in the hospital. He made it through, but not everyone who thinks about suicide does. That's why Skyview High School is presenting information to every student on what, for many, is a taboo subject. You know, even one uh, death by suicide is one too many, and we've had multiple here. Uh, we had four in the last three years, and so that's significantly uh, damaged and hurt us uh, to the core of our heart, and so we wanted to do something about that. For Counselor Jay Gowan, it's important to get people talking. We know that talking about this topic is actually helps to decrease the chance of suicides being completed and that not talking about it doesn't prevent it, and the research has proven that. It's personal for Mr. Gowan. Uh, because I lost my best friend to a death by suicide back in 2005. Once you ask, it's clear that suicide has touched the lives of more people than you might realize. It's scary for me and for my friends. It's really hard for me to see them at this, I mean, being a senior in high school or a junior in high school, being traumatized by that, it's, it's incredible, and I don't think it should have to happen. In the lesson, students learn how to spot if a classmate is struggling. Most of the signs I had witnessed or gone through and um, it was pretty accurate. Part of the solution is to reach out, to have difficult conversations. You don't want to be that one person to go and like say something necessarily all the time and like throw them under the bus and then be mad at you. But then at the same exact time it's a really big deal and if they're genuinely like feeling like, oh, I'm going to attempt suicide, it needs to be talked about. It's, it's not something that should be swept under the rug like it, like it is or stigmatized. In this session, students are given the tools to help themselves or their classmates. We learned a long time ago that it wasn't a matter of the kids coming to the adults, as they're going to go to each other. Blake called suicide hotlines. It was just nice to have someone be there to talk to you and listen and to understand. Creating a network of caring students and adults helps those who might be considering suicide to see another way. Focusing on the future was a big thing. Um, talking to other people helped me because um, a big problem with me was that I didn't want to actually die. I wanted to stop the pain. Now, Blake is thinking about life after high school and possibly a career in law enforcement. Um, I look forward to having a job and uh, just having fun with those that I love. Thanks to Blake, Jacob, Kelsey, and Mr. Gowan for sharing with us. If you believe you know someone who might be considering suicide, use the SAG model. That's show you care, ask directly, are you thinking about suicide, and get help right away. You can also call any of the numbers on your screen if you're considering suicide yourself or have any questions. As you heard Blake say in the story, talking to someone can help. We are going to leave these numbers up just a bit longer so you have time to write them down. Thank you for watching. I'm Nick Bull.